Caddis Maximus here. This time with another Viver product. This was sent to me as a promotional item. I take these items, these when they are. Offer me these various things. Uh, I always seem to find something that I don't have. And to tell you the truth, I take them because it isn't just really providing video content. It's because it's something I might use at some point and don't really want to spend, the, don't want to or have money to spend on it. So that's why I do take a lot of these uh, Viva products. I do appreciate them supporting the channel. And it's kind of interesting. This time around, they sent me a list of items. One of them was this, what they call an 11 piece hydraulic test kit. They also have a much larger, like a 22 piece or something. But the interesting thing is on the website and on Amazon, this is $70 for this where you get a 11 different various threads of test fittings. This particular fitting also has a, you know, a quick release, hydraulic quick release on it. Three gauges, a 10,000 PSI, a 6,000 PSI, and a 4,000 PSI. They do have a bigger set, but it's triple the money, and it comes with a whole bunch of T fittings so that you can do in-line measurements. And so that's kind of the shortcoming of this set, although it is 70 bucks, and I actually chose this one because I thought it was probably the best value in a lot of situations because a particular hydraulic system that you're testing whether it's heavy equipment or a press or you know who knows what you're testing you probably just end up getting the one T fitting that you need just to do the particular test the other thing I found interesting is they do include three identical test hoses I guess so you can have the gauges always connected or that you can perform multiple measurements at once but I do find that uh, at least better that they include one hose per gauge. So what we have here is we have our half inch or our quarter inch fittings is what the gauges thread into. There is a little uh, check, actually there isn't check valves at the bottom of the gauge, but these I should mention that all these gauges are glycerin filled so they're not gonna shake around. I do appreciate that and they actually claim that these are stainless steel bodies. So stainless steel glycerin filled gauges uh, is a nice touch. And something I was not expecting of a Chinese product is I was looking at this hose. Come on now. <laughs> German made hose. The brand is uh, Spradau. And uh, I was kind of surprised about that. I have just, you know, considering that China seems to make everything, I'm just surprised that a German made hose was what they chose to go with. And maybe that's like a safety consideration. This is a pr pretty well rated hose. If we look here, it's working pressure is 630 bar. That's about 9,100 PSI. But it's burst pressure is 1,600 bar. That's 23,000 PSI. So definitely decent quality hose. On the other side here, we have these caps. And these do have these little uh, spindles. And those are the press into each one of these fittings has a check valve in it. So it doesn't leak oil when you're hooking everything up. Everything has little O-rings, so if you ever have any leaks, you can replace all the O-rings. So these hoses all, let me get them out of the way here, all connect to all these different fittings the same way. What we have is we have a pretty nice machine cap. Oh, this one has kind of gotten stuck onto the O-ring here. There we go. So O-rings under the cap to prevent them from leaking, but there is actually check valves inside all these little fittings. And so when you put the cap back on, it just makes it, I guess, doubly secure. What is different is all the different fittings. They have these little caps, like so this is a 10 millimeter by one and a quarter millimeter thread fitting in this particular unit. If we take, say, this unit here, this is just a 3.8 standard hydraulic fitting. We take like this tiny little one down here. This says eight, so I assume that's just a eight millimeter fitting. We do have some, quite a few different fittings. Seven sixteenths. Um, I'm not exactly sure this says S1204 quarter inch fitting. And so that's the deal is every one of these is gonna be the same. This size what plugs into the hose. And this side is what you might connect. You know, if you have something like an excavator, they'll have hydraulic test ports to verify the amount of pressure. Surprisingly enough, no, 
I was going to demonstrate this with a hydraulic power pack. It's like a frame straightener that I got from Viver. Uh, but none of these are actually as big as the threads that that thing uses. Oddly enough, uh, we've got 9 sixteenths. Just a bunch of various sizes. So there's not a lot else to talk about here. This is a... Oh, that was one I already did. we got various metric and fractional sizes. That's a 14 millimeter. What's this one? Ah... Uh, I was just digging through here. We have two S1204 one quarters here. And I wonder, oh, I see. They actually are slightly different fittings. This looks like an MPT fitting. This is an O ring fitting. So, and I was just noticing they do have some laser etching. So, this is a ZG one quarter where this doesn't. So, as far as I can tell in doing my research, this will cover a lot of the hydraulic test ports and stuff that people may run into. And for 70 bucks, it's actually not a bad price, considering that uh, it does have uh, fluid-filled, glycerin-filled gauges. And it is using German, German test hose, which I was happy to see. Other than that, they do have a larger kit that does have a bunch of T-fittings to do inline measurements. Maybe, you know, some hydraulic cylinder isn't moving as fast or is with as much force as you think it should. And so, you know, a kit like this, you'd disconnect the cylinder, you'd plug this in to see if the pump is actually pushing enough pressure. Where with the T-fitting, you could do it in line and kind of watch it live. But that's the whole purpose of these, and I thought there's obviously not many times which I need a hydraulic test kit. Um, but when you do want to do a measurement uh, when it comes to hydraulics, I mean, you have to get one of these. You do need to get some a hose, a way to hook up the gauge. And the fittings, and that's what a lot of people do, to my understanding, is a, it's usually just a specific system. But having a nice little service kit like this just makes it easier, especially for the price. I've been looking around, and the price of a real top-end glycerin-filled gauge uh, can be $50, $60. And so in this case, you can just get a whole kit, and then anything, parts that you have issues with, you can just replace with more premium-type uh, units. It does come in a decent case. Uh... I mean, it's not the best, but it is <laughs> better than nothing and does seem to keep everything relatively organized. What I find odd is that they call this an 11-piece set because they're just referring to these 11 different fittings. So, although this quick release here is actually a 12th, so that it should be really called a 12-piece set. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been uh, watching See you next time. Catus Maximus out.